Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use Zapier and EasyFTP to make a zap that gets triggered and runs whenever a new file is added to an FTP server. You can also do modified a files changed on the FTP server, or you can do new and or modified. Uh, we have those three events, but we'll just do the new one today. It's the same for the other two. So let's say we're starting a brand new zap here. You can either start with EasyFTP, and you know you'll make a new account, you'll connect an account. We're going to say we want a new file in a folder. Whenever a new file comes into an FTP folder, we want this app to run. So click Continue. If you don't have an account, it'll ask you to create an Easy FTP account here. Um, when you do that, you'll, you'll go over to Easy FTP and you will enter in all your FTP info for the connection. I'm going to do that really quick. I'm going to pause the video. Cool. Once you put in that info, you'll get to this page. This is your connection page, you'll see it'll probably run a test automatically for you to make sure your credentials and everything are right. If you see an error here, you might have to edit and change those or make sure that the um, FTP credentials work. I would use like FileZilla or something or CyberDuck to make sure you can connect with those credentials if it's not working. You can also contact EasyFTP support. We help, we help a lot of people. So now we want to say what folder do we want to watch for the new files or the modified files here. We, don't, we call those watched folders. So let's click here. We're going to make a new watched folder. I'm going to say easy FTP. I know that I have a folder called easy FTP and a folder called HTTP on my FTP server. I'm going to save that. And so now that folder is being watched. So any new file or changed file gets logged and we can send, and Zapier can get those to be triggering for zaps. Um, you know, once that happens, you'll see log activity here. Um, but now you're all done here. Now we're going to do everything in our zap. So go back. We'll choose our account. All right, you might have to create one if you hadn't. Continue. Now, you know, you'll be able to see. Um, I'm going to refresh this actually. If you have multiple connections, you'll be able to see things, but see how this is the connection and this is the folder. We'll choose that. This is the folder I want to watch for new files and to have this app be triggered. I'm going to test your trigger. Now, if you have no files in your folder, you might want to put one in to get a sample file here. And so what you get is you know, a bunch of stuff about that file, uh, including the size, and you actually get the file. This is actually a file, a representation for a file. And so now you can use this data later in your zap. Like let's say, let's say we want to email it to ourselves or to someone else. Send log on email. You can use the file to upload to Dropbox or Drive or S3. Um, let's just do a paste that in there. Yeah, cool. New file to the server. Nothing to see in the body. You can throw whatever you want in the body for email. And then for attachment, you're going to choose this file exists but not shown, and that will be the actual file. Uh, you can put other stuff in here like file size or something like that. But this app will then, you know, send me an email with the file attached every time there's a new file in the folder. That's it. Pretty easy. Uh, you can do anything you want with these files. Uh, our different plan levels allow different size files um, and different amounts of trigger. Like let's say you upload 10,000 files onto an FTP server. Zapier doesn't want us to trigger it 10,000 times, so we have limits per plan for how many files every um, you know 15 minute check Zapier does will send to trigger zaps. So if you need any help with any plan choices or anything, uh, contact Easy, Easy FTP support, and uh, we're happy to help you get set up too. Thanks.